when the left ventricle fails. They call that left ventricular failure, left heart failure. And that's reasonable, isn't it? And when the left ventricle fails to empty, all that blood is going to get jammed up in the left auricle. And behind that, in the pulmonary veins, and behind that, in the lungs themselves, the pressure in the pulmonary capillaries is going to rise, and edema and fluid is going to exude into the alveoli. Our patient's lungs are going to become waterlogged. They cannot oxygenate their blood, therefore, and they become desperately short of breath, gasping for air. A posh word for shortness of breath is dyspnea, and so the major feature of patients with left ventricular failure is dyspnea due to pulmonary edema. So now let's talk a little bit about this shortness of breath. It's called effort dyspnea because it comes about when patients do things. Doctors call it effort dyspnea and they grade it from one to four. So they talk about effort dyspnea, grade one, grade two and grade three and they give patients various tasks. Can you walk five yards or so? Can you go up and down the stairs? Can you do so and so and so and so and so and so? So the next time they can see you, they'll know whether you're more dyspneic or whether you've made progress. Another thing which happens with patients with that have left ventricular failure, congestive heart failure, is that they complain of shortness of breath, not when they're walking, not when they're going up and down the stairs, but at night. So it wakes them out of their slumber. Then that is called paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. It's called paroxysmal because it occurs in attacks, nocturnal because it happens at night time, and dyspnea because that's what it is, shortness of breath. I mean, patients will not come up and say to you, last night I had paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. But they will come up and say, my wife made me a lovely meal last night and I was doing perfectly well for myself. I went up down, down the stairs, I took my clothes off, I was perhaps just a little bit short of breath taking my clothes off and I went to bed, I read my book and I fell asleep. And I woke up at 3 a.m. desperately short of breath, gasping for air, I had to sit up, it was very unpleasant, very uncomfortable and sometimes that is called cardiac asthma or paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. And there are various reasons for this. I need not bother telling you all about this. I'll suffice it to say that if you lie someone flat in bed, you compromise the failing heart further. And that's what normally people do when they go to bed. They lie flat in bed. And when you lie someone flat in bed, you increase the inflow of blood to the right side and you decrease the pulmonary venous drainage on the left and the lungs become squeezed in the middle and you end up with cardiac asthma or paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea.